Hello, beautiful souls. Why aren't we fully together in 3D? Because foreseeably, there's really nothing that should be keeping us apart. Vive. I'm hearing. We are meant for each other. And right as I said that word, longing. I have to say I felt a lot of sensual physical energy coming through from this person as well, because their longing for you isn't just emotional, it's also highly physical as well. I'm hearing a masculine here say, I just want to hold you. I just want to be close to you. So right away that tells me, as the deck name suggests, this person's thoughts and feelings towards you are highly hidden. They're shrouded intentionally by them, because they are afraid. But the true thoughts and feelings beneath the surface are coming out here. I'm going to read the four cards that came out from this deck. I feel you even though we are apart. I want to feel that way again. Couldn't let you get close to me. And then, in the reverse position, I know I messed things up. The fact this card is particularly reverse tells me that they're unsure whether they messed things up or not. Then they're almost waiting for a signal or a sign from you whether they are still allowed to move forward or whether they've done something to put you off or to mess up this connection. They, I'm getting a lot of energy of overthinking from this masculine, as well, that they may be heavily overthinking. I'm hearing the way in which they approached you or approached your energy. This is reminding me of that reading I did a week or two ago about a masculine who tried approaching a divine feminine like a karmic, and how it backfired on them. So, this could actually be the same person, the same energy coming through this reading. And it's possible that reading video would connect with you as well. I'm getting a similar message that this masculine tried to approach you, or approach this connection in a casual way. When their spirit guides, their higher self, their soul was pushing them to take it more seriously, they kept dismissing the signs that they were receiving out of fear. Intuitively, you, Divine Feminine, were aware that this masculine was continuously receiving signs about you, but then writing them off, dismissing them, or trying to ignore them. This dynamic may have become extremely frustrating for you. I am hearing that you recognized the signs of this connection right away, but you held back from sharing about it with this person because, I'm hearing, you were holding on to your cards. You weren't showing this person in 3D your whole hand, so to speak, as the saying goes, for because although you could sense that there was and is some kind of soul connection with this person, and I will let you know if I pick up on what type of soul bonds this could be. There's definitely a soul contract here. This was, I'm hearing, a fated meeting of some sort. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. My beloved love, in fact, I actually feel that you knew this even before you even received signs or synchronicities. You didn't even need the signs. You simply saw this person or connected with their energy, and you immediately knew that this was someone that you shared a soul contract with, someone that was meant to play some type of role in your soul's journey or your soul's evolution. But I'm hearing poker face once again, going back to that metaphor of playing cards and keeping your hand to yourself. You held on to your cards. You kept a poker face about it. Meaning that whereas you knew the depth of this connection, you most likely didn't share it openly with this masculine in 3D. Now, it's interesting because I rarely use the Hidden Truth Oracle deck, but I felt really pulled to this deck for this particular reading, and four cards came out. A whole trail of energy came out from this specific deck. The I almost feel as though when this person was in that state of being really busy and distracted in the physical 3D world, they were almost trying to run from who they really were. I'm hearing, trying to run from their roots or from who they are at that core level. 
And so, they may have been denying who they were, and in doing so, denying their similarity, their sameness to you. But something has forced a pause in this person's life, and it's forcing them to go back to those roots, either literally or in their own mind, in their own memory. I believe I mentioned earlier the strong soul tie that's been activated between the two of you. This means I'm hearing you're exchanging energy with this person 24 7 whether you consciously realize that or not. Then, because this person has been feeling a bit more nostalgic lately, you actually may be feeling some of their nostalgia as well. So, I want to know. What does the person coming through this reading want to say to the beautiful soul listening here? The Knight of Swords in the upright position, someone who's strong, assertive, decisive, wanting to make big changes. Do they feel like this person is actually stepping forward to be more assertive and direct? I'm hearing they want to take the reins in this connection, whereas they've been taking a pretty passive role up until now. With the Five of Swords reversed, I feel like this person is going to come forward with some kind of direct or straightforward communication that clears something up for you that you've been feeling unsure about or mentally conflicted about. That you feel that you listening to this reading have, in part, been mentally or emotionally conflicted because you really haven't been sure how this person really feels towards you. The way I see them coming forward with clear communication regarding that, that we also have the Queen of Wands upright. This is how this person here is perceiving you at this time. V now, I haven't been picking up on those labels, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine in this particular reading, but I will say that for many of you listening, of course, only take this if it connects, but I'm getting that for many of you, you are coming up in this Queen of Wands energy. So, you may identify as the Divine Feminine, the from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.